Copyright Exitec, LLC, all rights reserved. Welcome everyone to this new edition of our holographic podcast or holochat. And today I have a special guest. Her name is Anasuya Kabat. Uh, she's financial advisor for JK Wealth Advisors. She joined her parents with a management business in 2014 to continue the legacy of trust and service. Uh, she works with family businesses business owners, and high net worth families who are transitioning their wealth to the next generation. Um, she helps customers or clients address key concerns um, in their wealth planning, such as uh, trying to prepare for a more comfortable retirement, uh, mitigating taxes, taking care of their hairs, preserving their assets, or magnifying their charitable, charitable gifts. Anasuya, welcome to this Holochat. Thank you for having me. It's exciting to be here. Thank you. So, what is financial planning? Well, you know, so many money is what kind of rules the world, We right? We need money to live and to enjoy our life. And so many people have questions about how to manage their money so that they can do what they want to do in their lives and pursue whatever goals in their life. And so I love um, helping people make smarter decisions with their money and understand what their options are around saving and investing and managing that wealth over time through the different stages of their life. So financial planning is a little bit technical, a little bit personal. Um, but it revolves around making sure that people are making smart decisions about their wealth. Wow. So in this financial planning, what is the role of technology in financial planning right now? Wow, it's really amazing to think about the different ways that we use technology. And sometimes um, what I love about our job is that there's a very technical side of financial planning where we're looking at data and numbers and analysis. And then there's also this personal human element, right? Where we get to understand what are people are looking to achieve with their money. What are their concerns and keep them up at night? And so technology is really helping us build and bridge that gap between the technical side and the human side. And um, there are so many different ways that we're starting to use technology, uh, not even starting, we've always been using technology, but really expanding on how much we use technology in our business. I can't wait to go over some more examples. Wow, so how have you seen the use of technology, especially in your career? Mm -hmm. I mean, I just think about where we were 10 years ago, or even 20, like 20, 30 years ago, you think about what it took to buy a stock or a mutual fund or something like that. You had to literally call a stockbroker to place a trade on your behalf. And now you can do all of those buying and selling of these different types of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, you name it. Now you can do all of that even on your phone. And so how accessible it is for us to manage our wealth in our own hands and have all the information available to us is really incredible. And it's so, um, it's, it's really empowering, but for some people it can be kind of paralyzing too, right? Because when you have so much information um, at your fingertips, sometimes it's hard to make decisions. And so really helping, um, you, you know, really using that technology to help us make better decisions is a, is a key aspect of it. So, um, for example, just in the past couple of years, we've, um, you know, the data around the funds that are available to us and tracking returns that has been super helpful in us understanding, hey, which funds are really available to help our clients grow their wealth in a prudent way? 
And also I think the technology around quantifying risk, because that is a, the, the biggest aspect to investing is not just how you can grow your money over time, but how you can manage risk. Nobody likes to see the ups and downs of the markets, and we naturally have to go through those ups and downs, but we also want to see how we're not taking too much risk when investing. So now we even have technology that helps us quantify um, risk as well. Wow. So talking about technology, what are some of the benefits you have seen with the technology with clients? Oh boy. So where to begin? I think, you know, one area is around financial planning in general. So many times clients have questions around, have I saved enough for retirement? Or how do I make sure I'm not spending too much in retirement? Or maybe they're in their 40s and 50s, they're a business owner and they want to uh, sell their business eventually. You know, what do I do with <laughs> what I have from selling the business? How do I make sure that it lasts my lifetime, it takes care of my kids, it takes care of like the community causes that are important to me. So those are like the different questions that our clients come up. And now we have technology that says, okay, this is all the different assets that you have. These are all the different accounts that you have with the different tax implications. If you take money out of them and we could run scenarios and projections and analysis on helping clients plan appropriately for retirement. So that is just one like fabulous example. Um, but then I also think about some of these like softer areas of lifestyle and like health and managing health so that you can enjoy your wealth. And there's all these different apps now on your phone that helps you manage manage both. And so I think that's really um, interesting to, to incorporate in, in the wealth planning is, you know, how are you taking care of your health so that you can enjoy your wealth too? What, those are the benefits now. What are the challenges? Oh, the challenges. You know, what's interesting is I think I kind of started talking about it. When you have so much information at your fingertips, through the technology. There's so many ways to dissect the information and get quick reports and, and uh, takeaways very quickly. Sometimes I find that it, it actually makes it harder for clients to make a decision because there's just too much information available to them. And so um, that's where my role comes in in helping them understand, hey, which option might be most appropriate for them. Um, another example is because we've got a lot of information that um, I sometimes think that I'm helping clients, um, you know, manage their own behavior when it comes to investing, right? We all know that we don't want to sell at a low um, or buy at a high in the markets. We all know that fundamentally. But sometimes with the news out there and the scary information that we come across, we, uh, we find that our clients or uh, just general investors are, are accidentally doing that. And so it takes a little bit of that. That's where that human side comes in and helping them understand the consequences of those kinds of impulsive um, decisions and how to ride through and manage through the, uh, the, the volatility of the markets. Uh, it's like um, there is not uh, time on the market. It's not timing on the market. It's time on the market, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, there are people that are like trading uh, day traders. They are, you know, constantly looking at the markets, and that's one strategy for growing wealth. And then there's another strategy where we're really looking at long term investing, and you know, sticking through the the different business cycles, and so. Um, so a big part of it is helping clients understand, well, which strategy are you really going for? And what is the process we're going to take to stay disciplined um, during those times? So going back to technology, mm -hmm. what is your favorite technology out there that you have been using with clients? 
Oh man. So I love that financial planning software that I use for clients. It's becoming more and more accessible to everyday investors. You know, you think about when you log into your 401k at work and it starts saying, Hey, you know, um, based on how much you're saving in your 401k plan, this is what you could potentially expect to have for retirement 10, 20, 30 years down the road. So that's already starting to be apparent. And I think that's really important because we all have to take steps to plan for our retirement now. You know, there's no safety. There's really not a big safety net when you're in retirement unless you want to keep working. So you, you know, these kinds of um, software that's out there, it reminds us what we need to be thinking about and doing, not even just thinking about just doing the action to get us where we need to be in the future. So that financial planning software is really cool. Um, I also think nowadays, um, uh, internally in our business, we're using technology for tax planning strategies. So, you know, now you can put your tax return in the software and it helps identify opportunities for managing taxes or, you know, making use of retirement plans out there. And I want to be clear, it does not, you know, substitute working with a professional, a CPA, an accountant, um, because that expertise is still very important in making sure we're making the right decisions. But at least we're able to... um, do the analysis quicker and kind of crunch the numbers quicker so we can focus on the opportunities and the takeaways in helping the clients get there. So um, those are kind of two of my favorites that I've been like really just enjoy working with right now. Nice. So do you think also virtual reality reality will be used in financial planning? Absolutely. I mean, it's amazing to me just how broadly we can apply virtual reality and and different spaces. I mean, even just the technology that we're using right now to communicate and have conversations with each other and learn and gather information, it's all virtual right now, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. But even from a financial planning perspective, one example I think of is, you know, I'm not I'm not able, as a financial advisor, I'm not able to know everything about everything. You know, I help clients on investing, on managing taxes, estate planning, charitable planning, this, that, and the other. But, you know, sometimes I need to bring experts in all sorts of different areas. And so, you know, I wonder in the future of us using virtual reality to host these different conversations for our clients and bring in the experts, even though they might not be in the room, but we're still able to help them, you know, have these conversations um, when they need it. So I'm excited for the future and to see what comes from it. That makes us too. (laughs) Uh, One very hot topic, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. How is artificial intelligence being used in financial planning? That is a really good question. You know, artificial intelligence for us right now, there are so many different like rules and regulations and information out there. So we need the technology to help us process the information quickly and then apply it to client situations appropriately. And so this is where we're still kind of getting our feet wet in terms of, okay, we have the technology to help us synthesize the information now we have to do we have to as the professionals have to be the eyes and ears to make sure it's being appropriately applied to our clients and um, appropriately applied to the clients and so i love that you think about for example the different new tax rulings that come out every year big legislation and it's like hundreds and hundreds of pages and things like that it's really hard for us to go through it quickly, but now we have technology to help us glean the right information, and then now we can focus more on how do we help the client better, and so that's just like a very simple um, an exercise or a way of, of looking at it, but then even in terms of like fund research and um, yeah, like fund research and how we make decisions about the portfolios that we're building, we can start integrating AI into that um, 
into that process. Now, mm -hmm. we're talking about the future. <laughs> when you think about the future of planning and how new technology is being implemented, what excites you the most? I'm really excited that, um, I think I'm most excited about how this is going to help clients going back to that key objective, that key goal, how we're going to help clients make smarter decisions about their money. You know, you think about the so many ways that people are able to open doors of opportunity because of the wealth that they um, they build, you know, through their work, through their businesses and like that is what we're striving for in our profession is helping our clients do that better. And so nowadays I see that like technology coming in for clients to make, to just be smarter about it. You know, like there's simple little things that we can do on a daily basis. And then there's all these like big complex strategies as well. And so it's how do we make the complex a little bit more simpler for our clients to understand. And this is where those different technologies are coming in for us to visualize. I'll give you a really simple example. Um, aggregating accounts, meaning when you go into your bank, like your app for your phone and you see your bank accounts and then you can connect your investment accounts and your retirement accounts and, you know, put in your budgeting worksheets and things like that and see how everything's working together. That provides so much information for how we can plan better for the future. And so that's what excites me, you know, just simple little tweaks and we're just kind of continuously improving. So I'm, I'm really excited about what that's going to mean in terms of providing better quality of life for people. Well, that's amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Let me tell you why uh, this interview is so important. A um, couple of days ago, we received an email from YouTube. Uh, we, we passed 100,000 subscribers, I believe. As today, we are on 116,000 subscribers. Hopefully, by that time that this interview will go live, which is going to be Friday, we will be in the neighborhood of 120,000 subscribers in only four weeks. So um, this is a celebration also for us. Uh, yes. This channel is completely new, but we are having more subscribers every time. So thank you so much for being here, not only to celebrate the holidays and to be uh, um, talking about this interesting topic, but also to celebrate our almost 100,000 subscribers and our uh, silver award from YouTube that we are going to receive in a couple of weeks. So, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I know that you are expecting a baby. So yes. congratulations again. Thank you. And Thank you. I believe that this new technology will allow us to play these holograms as holograms, not only today, but so also in the future. So your baby will be able to watch you as a hologram in a couple of years and be part of this interview. So <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. And um, everyone, don't forget to uh, watch us next week. Thank you for joining us.